Good morning everyone. Video that everybody is waiting for. It's how I going to frame diamond painting without actual frame. We will learn today how to create perfect corner without any fancy tools. Uh, measurement tools but uh, what I have in here I want to show you first um, this is my big box that I did review uh, diamonds in here but the purpose of this one right now it stays on the top of my canvas to flatten so I will show you what it's make difference now I can put this away another heavy frame from this side I don't think I will need this now so okay here is my center what I want to show you in here is not okay so I use two different products to seal my diamond painters and actually I read later that some of you suggested me to do that because it will be better um, well to see what's work better I have to say that uh, for, the, for the little one I use this product as I show you in my video okay you can buy this in any store that I review where is the diamond painting tools and accessories I think for this big one I used the one that I bought in my local store okay very important is to remember in here what it says um, no this is French side okay in here there is a glass and it's a crystal clear dry so for this one I use in here now the difference between these two products I can tell you now and I don't know if everyone uh, will be liking uh, this use for your canvases or not because excellent stuff to use on any 3d project that is hard uh, base and you know like this all those ornaments and stuff like that um, this one product i use in a little one and after after it's dry i can see that it's kind of still kind of see there's a flexibility kind of it's bendable well some pieces are because of this canvas kind of was folded in here see like it's not very straight but it's kind of it's more flexible this one on the other hand it's more um i would say see it's kind of bent in uh, because it has a wrinkled the way it was folded you see all those folds so it's still kind of bent in but what i'm afraid about this that what if all these diamonds will just come out together with the glue all in one sheet from it because it's so like hard and with the time when it's dry like to give it a stickiness part it's about 30 minutes sometimes even less and you already can put something heavy uh, to dry I even like when I touch the diamonds not sticky anymore that's what I did I put upside down and I put heavy stuff because with this product edges start to kind of curl up a little bit because the glue is drying the sealer drying and kind of curling up a little bit of this thing now the diamonds in here not gonna fall out whatsoever it's all sealed and if we look on a shininess i even asked my son he did not see any difference on a sparkle of gems he said it looks exactly kind of the same if we can look one more time close you can oh, see my chandelier on the top so we see sparkle still is going on the sealer did not interfere with the sparkles how about this big one uh, see it's still shining right there you go you still have a beautiful clear uh, sealant you don't see that it even seep through because when I put I put like a good amount just cover it right um, so it's good now for the part of framing you can use if you don't have actual frame and you want to do this cheap on the budget 
I can put the sealant now away from here so it's not on my way. What I suggest to use, and I have in here some example to show you. Look, the cardboard. This was from computer, Acer. Nice, two good base that I thought maybe will be good, you know, for the smaller canvas to frame. This will work for this one, right? And then you have a nice back and nice and flat. Okay, so this is two pieces from the Acer computer. Uh, what this one piece is from? Some kind of other box, even it's nice. Oh, this one for Acer too. Um, and then look at this. I have even, I used to have the big pots and pans and I have nice sturdy box uh, one of them Catherine was using she painted all in black used for school project this one from some kind of box I don't even know is there anything on this side oh there you go from a ceiling light that I purchased big ceiling light and I thought if I have like a 50 by 50 or something big canvas that I don't want to frame it but to keep it like a nice and flat and sturdy to showcase so basically you can use whatever you want okay uh, to make this video kind of a little bit more uh, comfortable for me to do on camera maybe we will uh, do as example not the bigger canvas but smaller one so I will put this one away for now because the little canvas will fit better in my uh, camera point view. So I have with me in here old mat Catherine we were using for the um, what she was using for for this uh, slime and so the paint kind of here. I have a brand new one at uh, downstairs in my room, but. For this video i think this is more than enough for me to use and it's a little bit warped because i was using something and i took uh, um, it was like an asani spot and warped maybe in the summer time i have to take it back outside when the rubber get like a very very soft and then put under something like press to keep a shape okay so now uh, I guess I will maybe even use one of these borders just for example for you um, because it's a so nice I just need to measure uh, so I will have to use this way to cut it out uh, and there is a maybe possibility maybe I will use stapler I have with me tack it over and over the best glue that you need to have in your stash. Uh, I have in here exacto knife and some brush, some ruler. I have in here nicer brush, but then I remember I was already using this one for my sealer uh, sealant. So maybe this this was also from a dollar store, but it's like a brand new one. So maybe I will save this brush yet and use the one that I already used because the product is water based. So I just washed it and still good to use it for what I need right now. After this, I might will have to to throw away this brush because I'm gonna use with the glue. Um, now what else? Um, I will need some pen. And then I have in here bin with the, those borders that I told you about, okay? So those borders that is, let's see, this one is more kind of like an open or not. Okay, so that's like a foam, very, very soft material. See, nice design on it and you just have to peel it in here and it's very sticking on another side so my one of my christmas design in here that catherine did last year not crackers in a black frame so i'm thinking maybe i will use black this one black one that i have i have 
two of the black one. So if I would use on my bigger canvas to frame uh, uh, the one the 40 by 50, if this is meter long, I should have enough to frame the bigger one. So maybe for the smaller canvas, I will use... Let's say some like the let's say 30, 30, 60. Hmm, maybe one not going to be enough. I will frame this one, let's say in this gold, maybe. Maybe in this gold. I don't know. Let's, let's try this gold because I have no idea. Like, I was trying to figure out which one border would be better. If gold one would be okay or not, maybe not. I don't know what to do. Plus, you know, if I don't like something, I'm sure you can just uh, paint over later with something. Okay, I will use black. I think it's okay. I will use black. If I like it, then I can order more of this black. Because I think black maybe will be look better doesn't have a green or red for the frame so we will use let's let's use black for today okay and yes you can buy them in many colors you can see purple baby blue uh, like a marbleish almost like a orangey and then gold one so many colors in right now available up there I have somewhere else two more I think but I cannot find where but I think the other one that they have something similar to kind of like a brown color um, all right so what I want to do first I want to see how much of this border I need because I need to know how much this will take me uh, if I use okay because if I will do an edge, or oh, maybe not an edge. So this one would be covered with this side. This side we will trim it, and this one we will trim it. Okay, so what I will do for now, I, I need a scissors. I need the scissors. What I want to do to cut a little bit of these borders, but not all the way to diamonds. I want this border to kind of cover canvas and together my uh, frames to kind of seal them together. So I'm just going to trim it, just to leave a little bit border, literally off my, just like that by looking at. And if it's not very straight at this point, it's not very important. So I'm not going to speed it up this video at all. If you want to speed it up, you can do that by yourself. But for those who want to see absolutely everything what I'm doing in here, that may be a good way because if you speed up you might not gonna hear me if I have to say something important and I will trim from each side a little bit this canvas was really like patches of glue all over I didn't really plan to frame this little one but you know what since I want to do all the progress of all of them so might as well do this so right now I'm going to do I need to make a one side at least more straight that is already because I chop but it's not very straight so maybe or I can do this later. I can do this later or now. I want to see if this is very straight or not. If I can put to the... Ok, 
can't see now. Here is what I will do for now. Okay. My canvas, I will use a repositionable, like tack it over and over glue. What I want to do is, I want this canvas to be sticky so I can stick and it doesn't move. You can skip this part if you want to, but the most important I will do like at the top of my canvas in here because I want this part not to move, not to slide after frame when it's going to be hang, you know. And I will use a little bit more. I want this to be sticky. And maybe at the same time I can put a little bit more to the sides, just uh, like that. A little bit here, a little bit there. You can buy this glue at Michael's, which is more expensive, but you can buy also on Amazon. I used to have a links. I don't know if I still have a links available on my channel or not. And if the, that seller particular still have that or not. Now you can wait till this glue dry and it's going to be sticky. I'm not going to wait because it's gonna just dry and unstick later if I have to. So basically this glue it's kind of like a rep repositional glue because you can do your rubber stamps if you're doing a card making rubber stamps to put them later on your stamping block it will stick over and over and over. So that's what's good about it. Uh, I guess I'm just going to stick in here and then I will cut. So I'm basically put right in the middle of my board in here and I will press it, which my this mat is all wiggle. You can even put something heavy on and wait till it's dry, but we are not going to wait. Okay. So I think I will do what I will do. I will show you how to cut your perfect corner with no tools whatsoever. So I will bring you a little bit more close to me so you can see better. I will untangle this. Okay. And I will use this border is kind of like it's white. Okay, so what you do, you put, okay, for example, don't do like this if you want to frame it. Don't put like this, okay? Then cut straight and then continue do this way. No, because then you have like a crisscross cut like this. You want a corner cut. Okay, in the corner. So for that, you do grab your tool that you're using. You put like this together to the edges where they meet each other. Actually on the top of each other. Straight up on the top of each other. And I will I will mark it Mm, it's a red can see okay so if I would do like this okay like this let's just say mark it up like this so you can see what I'm doing and then I put this one on the side in here very straight and I mark in here it's a little wiggle in here okay so now what I need to do is Get this corner from this mark that we just created, make it to this corner. A little more of this. Like that. Okay. Like that. And this the other side. Because we will go to like this way. So from this one to that one, I will create from this corner to that corner. 
okay like that we have now two of the corners like this right so i can use my exacto knife i think for now let's see if this is going to work or i can use my scissors there and then i will do the other side i should pick different color would be more visible but let's try it okay. so now if we put these two pieces together we will create you see this go this way all the way to the edge this one go all the way to the edge up there and you will have this perfect corner in here you see that you just have to glue so basically not visible you see that and then you create same thing from this side and from each side you just go and create this corners okay that's how you do it um, and then I need now to see how much I want but I wanted to do maybe on a very very top to even even staple it together I don't know if I should do this or not I need to know how much this border will take because it's a very big border all the way up there just a roughly I might will be mark it up I'm doing this for the first time together with you so I'm kind of I'm learning together with you okay just a little bit of example in here what we can do together with you Okay, so if I have it's going to be somewhere in here. If it's not exactly perfect, I can trim a little bit later, but I just want to get a little bit of this excess of the border to see if it's going to work like I want to all right so let me trim this I'm just going to cut this with my exacto knife and I will be right back there you go I cut it out in here but you know what I forgot about that I have the stick in here I can put just decorative paper late in here from scrapbook and I have tons of paper that's okay or you can even put another cardboard on the top to make it more sturdy uh, I have to because I cut two corners from each side in here right from each end so how you gonna measure like this I figure out for you so how easy will do uh, if you have already one measurement you put to your frame because this this side will go to here so to make a mirror you just flip this to the other side okay like this make sure to end up in here like those two corners meet up together and then literally I put like a marking in here where is my diamond start I put a little dot in here I can show you there a little that and what i will do now i will kind of fold this my frame to touch to touch this red dot you see that and now i can literally just make a, my marking and trim it okay i can even trim it probably the scissors will be faster just make sure it's straight if it's not straight we can fix it so now if I put this to my picture you see that I have 
perfect one border like this they will create me one corner and they will then will create another corner in here so now i need to create four more like this right so same thing with because i already have this one side created and just for visibility because this is black hard to see i'm just going to put this on the top up there go to the end of my diamonds put a little dot in here and i'm just going to those two corners meet together okay and i'm just going to mark it up i don't know why i picked this marker my hands all over now <laughs> with red ink that's okay that's okay okay maybe this exact knife will be more straight than i do with scissors because this is soft material okay there and now you will do for the shorter sides so we have already two long sides now we need to have shorter sides so we have to make sure put this kind of in touch in here so you know what to do for your next one corner and because we already have those cuts from both sides you see that so we already have our corner as we cut already so here i have already one corner created look at this perfect corner for this side now i will do same thing as i did up there i will mark it up in here but i will flip it i will flip it to my other side where is my diamonds showing so you can see what i'm doing in my next red dot will be right in here and then i will do the same way that's way kind of easier to measure them together just those little red dot make uh, approximate if you need to measure twice measure twice measure seven times to make it straight now i will cut make sure cut proper side make sure don't screw it up and cut in the wrong direction you know make sure measure properly okay there so this would be now every time i'm going to measure if i'm doing right so this one go here this one go here this one go here and which one corner of this cuts will fit okay so this one will go in here so i will do now put upside down so you can see on a piece of paper what i'm doing get into my corner with my diamonds showing again we are doing just great my friends there you go the little red line now i'm going to put this corner into the red line like that get my marking and cut i decided not to use staple because that glue is holding pretty good if it's fall out later then i will do it but you know what this this repositional glue is really strong when it's dry so i don't think i need it there now this piece we can use for something else now we have all four corners now it's important to make sure to layer them <laughs> okay this is really driving me nuts because it's still not straight okay maybe this way i will bring you a little bit more oopsie sorry we'll get you a little bit more close to me on my mat in here so we have one more time before we glue we are going to measure this side go here 
and this part will go here and this part will go there okay so if I would show you from this side let's say this corner if I will line up where my diamonds right the corners to the corners of the diamonds and to the other corners it feels like maybe I need to trim a little bit this cardboard or basically I'm thinking maybe like a decorative cord to do on the top in here that way it's going to cover my cardboard in here so I will glue this borders for now and if I have some excess I might little trim later with scissors if I want to now the important thing is to get this really straight to here I think maybe I don't know if I should use first smaller one or not because this glue are very strong so you have to make sure you do correct because I don't think we can reposition, reposition this later if we don't do right so I'm just going to peel a little bit like this basically I need to line up my corner make sure I'm straight am I over overlapping the diamonds or not maybe a little bit and I will be lining up mm. you see that I missed a little bit and it's sticking hard I should push a little bit this way okay this is first trial it's okay looks like I got a little bit in here slower I, I don't know uh, let me do this side first if it's not exactly perfect my apology because I'm trying to do this fast on camera but you definitely take your time take your time get those corners first and now we need to make sure this part of the frame there is oh sticking sticking hard it's lined up to the corner as we need this one might have to reposition definitely need to cut in here border but here is the corner we could squish this glue together as much as possible uh, I might not push enough in here this because I got a little bit got a little bit lower in here but not high enough in here so that's totally my mistake but that's the way you measure those corners so now I have to like I will line up this corner first oh I did this corner good looks like it and I'm just going to slowly peel and and stretch I have to say the glue on this ribbons the strips is really strong yeah I will have to maybe trim it this border a little bit okay we're getting somewhere now where is one more okay here it is one more hopefully hopefully will fit properly if not it's just because I'm trying on camera hard the other one bigger one I will take a time because I'm trying to in a rush not to waste your time too much so if it's not as perfect there
kind of squish it together because the white foam. Now this corner, I have to push it over. Oh. And if you have like a black, um, if you see the foam a little bit sticking out, you can definitely take a um, black marker or paint and cover. But here is the corner. I think it's pretty good. Uh, this, what I'm, what I'm saying, you see this foam. So you still can like a tackle inside to each other. Because a little bit overlapping. If I can just push it, maybe because I didn't cut straight, the foam may be a little bit visible. So I'm just going to mark it up in here with some black uh, paint to cover. Uh, this side I screwed up a little bit, not exactly perfect. I might well try to unstick it and see if I can a little bit fix it. But you know what? I can just like push it, push it, push it, and it's kind of. Oh actually cover there it's almost it's almost done I just have to fix a little bit of this corner in here it's like a one bead pusher from here to up maybe but you know what it's not bad for such a cheap framing and now definitely and because I kind of put a little bit maybe uh, ribbon got a little bit in here so I'm just going to trim in here with scissors like right now but basically it's not bad it's not bad I just need to trim a little bit in here because it's longer and I will give you idea one more one more thing look at this it's okay I will lift it up right now my this one give it so we can see a little bit better and then I will give you another idea. I have it here that I'm keep collecting from the pop this pieces from the can pop. And this is your best thing to frame it. You can just put in here, kind of bend them a little bit so it's more comfortable to get on the um, nail or screw. Just a little bit to bend with the tools, whatever. So it's kind of like a sticking out a little bit, okay? Um, okay, let me show you on this side because it's more white. Okay, you can put hot glue in here. You can put, um, to make it with exact knife, a little bit slit on a cardboard. Stick this inside and let's just uh, grab a plier to bend this a little bit so it's easy to get on the... Um, and a wire later and then you can use a two two nails on your wall or put the twine or ribbon between uh, from here to here so you will have this little arch to just to put on one nail just make sure to use maybe a little bit lower so when your ribbon um, you know stretch it's not gonna showing up in here so you can use this and i use uh, very often them on my like a diy frames they are the best and i have tons of them because i collect them for some project that i'm planning to do uh, hopefully till next summer so see like in here i have a little bit sticking out the borders because yeah i could push them more a little bit but that's okay it's just the way i cut cardboard so it doesn't matter nobody gonna see from here uh, but the most important thing I can I need just a cut in here to hide this piece but also I could show you but I didn't bring it with me I didn't plan to you know this Christmas cord you can find them in gold in red or green and I do have them you can literally with the hot glue put the cord around it like a twisted um, strip in here or even some gems you can add those uh, rhinestones in here somewhere. So I think this is very nice uh, framing for cheap. You can use washi tape on the inside. Like you put your picture on, put the washi tape, something will, would be nice probably in here, like a red washi tape or gold washi tape on the inside. Uh, and then put border behind this washi tape. So washi tape showing first. That way you will have like a more three-dimensional picture. But what do you think for now? I think this is great. Mm, okay. I think this is very nice.
framing for cheap it's a very very late uh, light not going to pull your wall if you have a um, fragile walls and you don't want to um, have like a hard nails on it or oh, also you can use those uh, repositionable remember I did unboxing of the clear clear glue I do have the uh, and those double-sided clear tape that I've reviewed uh, I see people using them to put in here and to stick to the wall and if that's the same one that I saw commercial that's actually you can even wash them and reuse that glue so yes um, I can definitely can just a little bit trim this border that I didn't cut exactly straight just like that not big deal and then I put cordon maybe around if I would frame it but this one little tiny picture this is definitely just a DIY project very cheap project so I'm not really care about this one because it's not much like quality of the diamonds itself but it's still kind of visible so i hope you like this little tutorial i hope it was easy for you and remember how to create corners it's super super easy anything you use anything oh you can use for the frame and go to the hardware store and buy those borders that people use and by the ceiling uh, they have now them in like a very light material not wood it's almost like a no not even plaster i don't know it's like a plastic very very light borders like this you can use them to frame your pictures and they will look real you know they looks really nice so when i went to um, i will use one of those uh, borders but wider one for catherine room for the ceiling uh, because that's what we're going to do so one more time if you have the same time of the frame for example you just put on the top of each other mark it up the corners you know mark the corner make sure you use like a, all the way to the edge make it perfect square okay you mark it up and then you use your ruler to get from corner to corner and after you cut you will have your first perfect corner for the frame okay i hope this tip helped you let me know if you knew before how to cut your corners without any you know those uh, different kind of tools and what do you think about this framing okay my friends thank you for being patient i have been waiting for this tutorial myself for a long long time i just didn't have a chance to do it so maybe now i will do my bigger canvas same thing and if you want these diamonds to stick good which is so it's already stick on that repositional glue tuck it over and over it stays now i can cover in here i can maybe peel the sticker but if not i will use some of my sheets that i have 12 by 12 beautiful paper and just put on the other side all right thank you for watching and i will see you tomorrow